Hey guys, Gabe the Boss 70 here back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to get worst on Minecraft and um, I'll be showing you guys that it does work. Um, now link in description to the worst webpage but um, uh, it, the link is www.worstclient.net so you can type that in and then once you want to do that is um, so I'm going to show you guys how to get the Forge Worst um, one. So I'm assuming that you guys already have Forge installed. And if not, um, I might leave a link um, to Forge in the description. And I might not leave a link to Forge in the description. But I will leave a link to the site. So the first thing you want to do is just go to WorstClient.net and you want to click on Try Forge Worst. And then you just want to click on download forge, forge worst and then just click on all versions and then the latest one which is I guess point 11. Um, I don't know if some of them have different things but I'm assuming that this one has better stuff because it is um, like the newest version. So all you want to do is just click on that and you want to click download. And then if you're using Chrome, it'll say um, discard or keep down here. And you just want to click on keep um, in the left hand corner and then it will continue downloading. And then after you have that downloaded, um, uh, I'll, I'll just download it anyway. So um, it's not harmful. I've done scans on it and a lot of people use it. And it has good reviews, and it isn't a virus, it just, it pops up like that because it needs to modify your game. So, you just want to click on this, or you don't want to click on it, you want to click on this up arrow. You want to do show in folder, and then you just want to right click it, or the highlighted one, and you want to click copy, and then you can close out of the file manager. Now you can close out of Chrome, but continue like keep chrome open because otherwise you can't watch this video but the next thing you want to do is just go all the way over to minecraft and then you want to click on launch options and then you want to click on forge and now you'll see in a by game directory there will be like this green arrow you want to click on the green arrow and now it'll bring you with a bunch of confusing files or things that you might not understand. But um, there's a file named mods and you want to double click this. And I already have a couple mods installed, but that's just for single player and stuff. So um, right here, you want to right click and you want to click paste because if you copied the file, then you can copy and paste the file into different folders. So you just want to right click and click on paste and there is forge right there. So now you can um, exit out of the file. Now since it can't update Minecraft like as soon as you put it in, you just want to exit out of Minecraft and then wait for like a second and then go back into Minecraft. Now, uh, um, now it is in the folders or in the Minecraft folder, and you just want to click on Play Forge. But my Minecraft has a weird thing where I can't launch it without crashing. So um, I usually click Play, and then I go into t my Task Manager, and then I close out of the second invisible Minecraft, and then I'll load up. So yeah, if any of you guys have that weird like crash or it'll say like a java se something has like stopped working then you can literally fix it by going into task manager and closing the second 32-bit um minecraft but um if you go over to mods and uh well you'll see minecraft wait a minute, no it is in forge worst here it is it's right there so I'm gonna show you guys in multiplayer. I'm trash at multiplayer. This doesn't really help, but it has a lot of cool f features. So I'm just going to click on high pixel. I don't know why it's saying it can't connect to server, but I'll just show you in blaze, I guess, or can I try 
do, do it. Well, they lied to us. All right. Um, but yeah, to open the mod menu, you want to click left control um, button uh, by the Windows key on the left of your keyboard. And then it will pop up with this stuff. Now, I'm just going to turn off all of this stuff that I'm using right now so you guys can see. Uh, let me see where the other stuff is. Okay, so this is what it looks like without anything. But there's fun, which is just rainbow UI. Um, there's chat, anti-spam, so like st the chat won't get spammed. Rendering. Um, there's chest ESP, which that's a chest. There's player ESP, which it will highlight them. There's also x-ray. Um, it'll show like everything. Um, there's item ESP and there's Fulbright and stuff. So yeah, that that's pretty cool. I usually use player ESP and chest ESP. Um, but I think those are the best two things. But there's also combat. There's auto armor and kill aura or aura or whatever, however you pronounce it. But um, I don't recommend using kill aura if um if you're in the lobby because then it'll just spam your um like uh, your compass and you can't really get out of it so i don't recommend putting that on in the lobby but uh yeah just to get out of that part i usually use auto armor but uh there's also movement set uh movement settings i usually use auto swim i mean auto sprint um fast ladder uh, Jesus, which is, which allows you to walk on water, and I usually use no fall and no web, which is really cool. There's also, like, blocks, but you can't really use those. There's also UI settings. I don't really know what that does. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I never used that before, so I don't know what that is. Um... My opacity. Oh, that that's helpful. So there's like redness and stuff for. Oh, it's just like U.S. stuff. Um. Oh yeah, there's like auto fish and. I, I can't read. Oh, timer. Um. Yeah, but that that's all the stuff you can drag them around and stuff, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, but um, that's the UI and. I got really confused um, when I first used this because I didn't know how to turn off or like get back to playing. It would just like keep me in this menu. But all you have to do is just press escape on your keyboard and then it'll let you play. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But it works in multiplayer. Uh, I'll just show you guys really quick. I'm only gonna go, um, I'm only gonna go like into the lobby of Blitz, but uh, it does work in like full game Blitz and stuff. Um, yeah, but everything does work, which is pretty cool. There's a dude right there. I might as well do sub. Uh, I'll select that one because it gives you a decent sword. Alright, so you can just like go up here and you can find chests and stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, like chest ESP if you select it, then you can get stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna grab that chest. So, yeah, it'll get. There's also like auto armor and stuff, which is cool. Oh crap, okay, yep, it's not good. Uh, this definitely isn't good. Is he still chasing me? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, thank you for that. You just boosted me. All right, we need to just like kind of book it. <laughs> Please, I need it to turn to 60 seconds so I can get. Oh, your meat master. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, now, now I'm not too scared. I still suck at PvP, so I, I am still kind of terrified, but yeah, 
yeah. Um, oh, there's a chest over here, I guess. If they're an actual player, it'll show their character. Oh. Why won't it let me search it? Oh, there we go. I think that this is better. Um, oh crap. No! <laughs> okay. Well, you guys saw that it worked. Um, this evil did just go and report him. Um, he's totally hacking. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, that, that's the video for today, and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeet!